believe we are live. Let me admit people in the room. Okay, good. People are getting in in time. Thank you all for being here. I want to make sure that our broadcast is going live. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. It is going live. And I am going to share my screen with you because I have some slides for you all. If I didn't X out of them, did I X out? Oh no, they're right here. Okay, perfect. So let me share. Oh, let me admit the next person. <laughs> People are barely getting in the okay. room, okay? <laughs> because um, yes, we're asking everyone to mute yourselves because I'm going to be doing a presentation with some slides and um, yeah, once I start these slides, I will not be able to see you if you request to come into the room, but after I go through the presentation, I will, um, I will check on Facebook as well to see if there's any questions because I am live streaming this to the Facebook group, okay? So let me... Um, open up, let me share the screen and get these slides. And y'all bear with me on this whole process of sharing the screen and doing all this stuff. So here we go. Gonna hit present on this. And let me know if y'all can see my screen. Someone will have to unmute yourself and let me know, can you see the screen? And then yes, I'm going to check on. It. Perfect. Thank you. Then I'm going to check on Facebook and make sure that everyone can see the screen over there. Yes, we are good. Everyone can see. So I set up this event inside of the Facebook group. Let me hit. Do I need to hit? Uh oh. Let me escape that. Sorry, ladies. I got to hit record on this. Record first. <laughs> there we go. This meeting is being recorded. Then I can come over here and present to you all. Perfect. So I set up this event called How to Become a Certified Mindset and Energy Coach with Holy Spirit Guidance and Research Back Tools. And I'm so excited for everyone that is in the room. This is something God just put on my heart. He was like, you know what? share it in this way. There's so many different ways that I've shared this. The Institute has been around for almost two, over two years now. And I thought it was really important for people to understand that when we talk about mind body work, we're talking about research backed um, science based tools. Oftentimes this stuff can get intertwined with other things. And um, I really want to just go into this and show you guys how you can actually walk through this. Okay. In a way, that brings God glory. So I think that's the most important thing. Um, the mission at SAI, which stands for Soul Aligned Institute, our mission is to equip Christ Christian coaches and business leaders to be able to recognize and refute new age principles that are filtered throughout the coaching industry. We desire that mindset coaches and the like can help their target audience to rapidly and effectively heal at the subconscious level through a biblical worldview that points to a relationship with Jesus. And I will tell you, when I started this coaching industry um, back in 2015, I didn't know if that was possible because I had been um, just introduced to some circles that where I felt it. And I said, there, there's something missing here. Yes, we're talking about healing, we're talking about change, and we're talking about manifesting, which I have a whole thing on how manifesting is not a dirty word, okay? <laughs> um, and manifesting God's way, not the world's way. That's actually part of the training that um, Christians go through when they come, or coaches go through when they go through the SAI. Um, but I didn't, I was in these circles, and I said, wow, there's something missing here. And through my journey, um, God has just sent me amazing mentors, um, people that can guide me, lead me, and now we're here in this place, right? That's how today is um, has manifested. See that? God manifests his purpose. He manifests his will into our lives. It's not something that we have to strive for, okay? So the objectives for today, we will learn a little bit more about me as the instructor, um, founder of the Soul Line Institute, 
what my experiences mean for you as students or trainees, um, those that are looking to be certified in this way, um, what you as a student will get out of the training for the SA method, um, which is the soul aligned method, what your clients get out of this training, right? Because when you come to this training, the purpose of you coming to this training is because you're working with clients, you have clients, you're seeing already for yourself that, wow, if we could get deeper, if we can go to those deeper levels, right, with this person, that there could be um, bigger breakthrough. I had noticed that as I was coaching, what, whatever field you're coaching in, be it the health field, relationships, money, business, for me, it was business. I started off as a clarity mindset messaging coach. And I noticed as my clients were trying to get clarity on their message or they needed to put themselves out there and promote, there were some deeper things like self-worth issues, right? Identity issues. And I could see and feel those things and I felt unequipped to deal with them. Okay. So that's, again, is how this was, um, this has all developed and came about. So I'm going to talk to you about why this training is different than any other coach training that you may have seen and how it promotes rapid and lasting healing. Um, we're also gonna go over the curriculum outline, we'll go over the commitment and the length, um, what the protocol teaches, and we'll go over your investment. So my name is Justina, and I am first a child of God. I am a Jesus lover. I am a military spouse, or I should say a veteran spouse. I homeschool my children. We've been homeschooling for whew, maybe 11 years now. And I have a master's in human service counseling with a concentration in business. I am a certified Swankton practitioner, master, master certified EFT and TFT practitioner. And I'm a mindset, money mindset and brand visibility coach. I consider myself a holy rebel <laughs> and I'm co-partnered with Jesus Christ. I know that with every ounce of my body, that everything that has unfolded in my life, what I've been able to accomplish, that it is by the grace of God. It is through his strength and through his power. So I started pursuing my passions and stepping off the path perceived over 10 years ago. And when I say that off the path perceived, I'm talking about this homeschooling journey. I'm talking about um, this marriage of mine where I've been married almost over 17 years and we made it through the military, okay? I'm talking about um, choosing to stay home, raise my kids and start a business. And the business that I started when I left, um, when I left the mental health field was a beauty agency. And this made no sense, but now I know why God had me start this beauty business. It's because it was a, it was a childhood passion of mine. And you know how we have these passions and these dreams and we kind of throw them away and we think it's just not for us or we can't do that. Well, he wanted to show me that it's in him that these things take place, right? There's not, it's not me. All the things that I've done in my life um, through my education, through the jobs, the sales, the um, all those things, I, I was in it. I was doing it. But when I got to this one place in starting a beauty agency, I had no connections. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. I didn't have the training. And I watched God build it to the point where my agency has been able to work on TV, films, fashion shows, regional and international magazines. And we work with celebrity clientele. So I've, you know, again, I can only give God the glory for all of that. And I'm so grateful for what he's done in that space. And that is why um, this aspect of coaching, when you come to Soulfully Align You, which is the entirety of my business, there's two things that can happen. You can get certified, which is why you're here with me today, <laughs> or you can get coached, right? And I coach through that lens of um, having the mindset to manifest the call on your life, your call to the marketplace, because I watched God just manifest some things in my life that I, my hands, I couldn't, I wasn't a part of it, right? And I won't say I wasn't a part of it because he's co-partnered with us, but we're watching his strength and his power and divine connections and divine strategy and all of that take place. So I'm so grateful for that. And as I grew in the makeup business, I felt the call to take my business even deeper, stepping into that coaching, helping other women. And then from there, it came into this training aspect um, just over two years ago. So 
on this past the path to coaching is where I discovered the crossover between law of attraction and new age principles. Mind you, when I was growing my beauty business, I had no clue about these crazy manifesting practices, these new age principles, none of that stuff. I grew that business with me and God alone. And as I stepped into the coaching industry is where I said, wow, look, at, I'm starting to notice some things that just feel off. I became very confused by the world sounding like us, but not necessarily adhering to the things of, of, the, of the word of the Bible, right? You'll hear them say, oh, we have to be aligned. You'll hear spiritual coaches. And I'm like, we're spiritual people, right? We love Jesus. <laughs> we're spiritual. Um, you'll hear things like, oh, vibes. I'm like, oh yeah, that girl has good vibes, but they're taking it on a whole nother level, right? So I want to say this, what I have come to discover is that the world loves God's principles, but they don't want the prince, right? So principles without the prince is witchcraft. And so that is something that I have learned over time is that these principles that are being taught, um, nine times out of 10, they belong to God's children first. It belongs to God, the word in the Bible. They come from the Bible. And so what does all of this have to do with your business, right? With your business, with you as a coach, how does all this affect you? For one, as a business owner, when you're entering or as a coach entering into the coaching world, um, you know, we all have a desire to succeed. Um, terms like manifesting, quantum leaping, and law of attra attraction become embedded in the process for becoming successful and being able to reach others with your message. How many of you have heard of client attraction? If you've heard of client attraction, um, put CC inside of the, um, the chat box because that client attraction piece is that like segue of trying to get you into this law of attraction stuff. So new age messages are embedded within the personal development industry. They're just embedded. And we have to walk that fine line of understanding what, what is new age, what is witchcraft, and what is a cult. You are a leader in your business and you really wanna make sure that any coaches or people that have been over you, that they weren't imparting these things. And this is what happened to me um, back in 2015, I was in a coaching program and the coach that I hired, she was amazing, she was beautiful, but she brought in a guest speaker to speak over us. And I will say this, obviously she wasn't aware, right, of these type of things, that new age um, influence that is embedded in the coaching industry. And they were doing some form of imagination for us. Like imagination is a gift from God. Okay. We're not, we're not trying to say imagination is bad. Imagination is a gift from God, but it's the way we use it. Are we using it, using it under his authority or are we using it for our own purposes? So yes, they would step into this, this um, imagination practice. And then all of a sudden there was, they were talking about the third eye. And if you don't know, the third eye is connected to a kundalini spirit, which is a demonic spirit. And I knew this, I at least knew that, <laughs> that, that aspect of things when I got to that place. And I remember being in the room and I remember praying and just saying, God, keep me protected. The blood of Jesus, I am pleading the blood of Jesus as I'm in this space. And from that point on, it, it, it has been a journey of dividing truth and really getting God just presenting and bringing forth the mentors for me um, where I can divide these things, right? And we can actually, we can walk and have these tools. Like I said, the mindset and energy um, based, energy psychology based tools that are researched, um, research backed and science based. That is the important thing here is that the things of nature belong to God. He created the, the universe. He created this earth, right? He created the birds to migrate and go and, and react to the season. So the things of nature, of science, those things belong to God. He is the ultimate creator. So for me, I'm very passionate about this because I don't, I don't believe that we should allow the world to take the things of God and claim it as their own. 
that's something that I'm very strong about it. No, these things belong to God and we're going to give him the glory for it. And so um, another thing I was talking about, if we're not clear, right, on those type of messages um, with that are rooted in new age, rooted in um, witchcraft, those type of things, we then in turn impart those same messages to our audience to our clients. I'm guilty of this. There's some language that I was using back in 2015, 2016 that I did not realize was actually contributing to um, the kingdom of darkness, right? I didn't realize that I was using that type of language. I didn't understand that it came from that, that side, not understanding that, man, I've got to shift that to where my language is more geared toward Jesus, and it speaks toward the things of God, right? So again, like I said, I was guilty of that. There's phrases like tune into your own words, create your own reality, right? Though each one of those phrases has their own subtle pieces that don't take into um, account the authority of God. So I have a training on the five fears around mind body work for Christians, and it really goes deeper into um, this law of attraction, spotting new age deception, all of that. And that particular training is inside of the um, SA Soul Line Institute as well. So what do students get out of this certification program is what that should say. It's not, it's uh, kind of functions like a course because the trainings are pre-recorded. However, it is a certification, a double certification program, I should say. So what you learn inside of this certification program is how to spot new age principles. <laughs> A bug tried to get me. How to heal from subconscious limiting beliefs at the cellular level, because there are negative emotions that get stored in our body, stored in our memories, right? And we teach you how to heal from those. Um, we teach you um, energy psychology tools that aid in the healing process. And I repeat, they are research backed and science based. How to be an effective coach without relying on tools or protocols, right? Because that's the opposite of this. And I find that you have coaches that go and they learn a particular modality or protocol. And now they're like, that's the only, that's the only thing that their coach, that their um, program offers. I'm like, no, there's so much more to this. Mind you, I am a money mindset and brand strategy coach as well. So I'm going to teach this certification is taught through that lens that you have to brand yourself, right? There's probably a framework that God has already given you, right? If you're coming into this certification as an experienced coach, you already have a framework. You're just looking for that additional tool that you can get the that you can learn to go hand in hand with what God has already given you, right? So in this, students also learn the intersection of coaching and reaching back to address traumas that affect clients from moving forward in coaching. So yes, coaching is about moving forward. We totally understand that. Coaching is about growth. Um, but however, as you're working on that path of growth and moving forward, there's some times where you have to reach back to address those, those traumas, right? So this is a trauma-informed certification program. You also will learn the difference between coaching, consulting, therapy, and mentoring. It's very important uh, for you to understand the difference um, for your clients to have informed consent of knowing your framework and how you flow, and also getting permission from your clients. Because when they signed up for coaching and you start shifting into consulting, those are two totally different things, right? And if you're not licensed by the state, there should be no, no therapy going on. We can use therapeutic tools, but we're not doing, you have to distinguish the fact that this is not licensed therapy. That is not what this is, okay? So students will also get a tried and true protocol slash tool that works, which is called the Solo Line Method, an opportunity to work with real life issues and watch practice partners um, truly shift in mindset right before your eyes. So in our program, we do have a Facebook group that is full of past graduates, current students, all of that that are currently working through this right now because this is a um, self-paced program. 
And you can call on those students and you can actually do practice hours with them inside of our um, weekend intensive that we teach. You will get to see me um, working with one of the students and you'll get to see the breakthrough unfold, right? And I think it's a beautiful part about this is that you're encouraged in this program. You have to get at least four hours while you're in the program um, of you practicing each part of the protocol. And again, you get to call on the students in class. You get to, um, you can pull people in your household. It really doesn't matter wherever you feel led to get this real life practice. It's gonna be beautiful. You also get a skill set that you can layer on to whatever skills you skills you currently have, which is what I said, what I said earlier, that a lot of you are coming to this program, to this certification with a skill set that you already have, right? Um, it could be that I know that I've um, seen some people do um, art therapy and they're able to draw certain this art that is like healing and therapeutic for their clients, right? And being able to pair that with this particular protocol is just beautiful. Um, a clear understanding of partnering with God to manifest his will for your life and your clients and a newfound confidence that you don't need what the world offers to personally and um, to, for you personally or to help your clients shift, okay? So I know, I know, some of us in the room, I know I was guilty of this, where I would see, well, I'll even share this story. There was a time like where I was a teenager going to church and I would see the people in the church who are supposed to have God's promises and are supposed to have life more abundantly just struggle, struggle to pay their rent, struggle to pay their car notes, struggle to pay their, their mortgage. And I'm looking at the world and I'm like, they don't have these problems. What's going on, <laughs> right? So if you see this where your eyes are starting to shift and you're looking over here and you're seeing those people who don't love Jesus, who don't follow his word and they are out there look, celebrating those 20K months, 50K months, all that kind of stuff. Well, God cares more about our soul then he cares about the money, the success, success, any of that. If you ever listen to my podcast, you will hear me say that. And I always say, get in alignment, get healed so that your mind and your heart is in alignment with what God, with God's heart in his mind. Then all other things will be added unto you, right? So there's this thing where once we've given our lives to Christ and we're like, God, I trust you. You're the Lord over my life. You're the savior of my life. He cares more about our souls, right? And we deep down inside have a desire to be in alignment with God, our character, our integrity, um, releasing certain spirits. Like one of those spirits that has, that has been, that God has been putting on my heart for people is the spirit of manna, right? If you don't know what that is, look it up. We'll, you know, we can talk about that. I, every now and then inside the Facebook group, I will continue to add value to the Facebook group, right? There is the 16 weeks of your study, but I'm constantly, when God is dealing with me, there's a prophetic word, something like that, I'm sharing it inside of that Facebook group. And you guys have seen me share some of that inside of the main Facebook group as well. So I do talk about those additional things. Part of this work is spiritual warfare, but we're not there yet. <laughs> I get a little excited. What do clients get out of this training? So now this is for your clients. I know if you're coming here to get certified, um, this is because you feel called to the coaching industry, right? You feel called to help people heal. You feel called to help people overcome their limiting beliefs. Maybe it is that you are um, a health coach, right? And you're doing the nutrition, you're doing the fitness. However, you know that there's deeper things. There's some trauma-based things. There's soul-based things that need to be healed in order for them to have that breakthrough. So I wanna talk about what your clients will get out of this training. So your clients will get additional value in knowing that you not only have the skill set that you already possess, but knowing that you can actually help them shift in mindset at the subconscious level. So what we're talking about here is getting to the root. It's one thing to deal with a symptom, okay? And the symptom might be that your client um, isn't eating healthy and you create her a meal plan. Great, that's the symptom. Now she's trying to eat from this meal plan, but she finds that she keeps 
getting away from it. And we find that there's a deeper issue of value and worth. Where did that start, right? So with our training, you're able to go back to that specific memory, that specific time in her life where the, that value piece was an issue and God will meet her there in those sessions and be able to walk through this seven step pro protocol, the soul line method to help her release that so that she's getting to the root of it and she can heal. And then her actions and her behaviors and all the rest of that begins to shift, right? Because oftentimes I feel like with coaching, sometimes we're looking for that behavioral change. We're looking for that, um, that evidence base, like something changed, shifted for you in this sense, but we forget the inside of the person, the inner healing of that person needs to change. So your clients will get access to a tried and true protocol that not only works, but leads them to Jesus. Okay. Because every time you show up, with this protocol, they know that you are Holy Spirit led. And it's based on how our, how our sessions are even set up um, before you go into any of this mindset work. Access the Holy Spirit influence transformation and success, which always points back to giving God the glory. The comfort of knowing that whenever they get stuck in making progress um, on whatever they're working with, you know, behaviorally and all of that, that you can reach back to help them with the soul aligned method. Let's keep going. Okay, we have two comments. Ah, oh, Sophia, thank you. She's like, yes, yes. And I'm sorry, ladies, if you are talking in the chat, I cannot see it. I promise when I get, when I get to that, when I'm finished with this, I will get to your comments. If you have questions, please ask them. Um, be specific because I'm going to have to go back and look over the chat and I want to make sure that I can, um, I know what you're referring to. So your clients will get rapid results. Why? And let me share a story with you. When I say rapid results, um, I actually have a client that comes to mind where when she came to, on our first discovery call, she was literally in tears. Okay. And tears because there's some things that happened in her business. There's some ways that her character was attacked and all these other things. And it kind of made her feel like, you know, stuck in her business in a sense. And what she came to me for, she felt was so heavy, right? And I initially start off with a six session package. And by the third session, she was like, Justina, I feel free from that thing, <laughs> right? But I know that God has something more. So that's the beautiful part of this protocol is that the, the results happen fast. The things that feel heavy, when we hand them over, to God, when we hand them over to Jesus in this container with the facilitator and someone that is um, trauma informed, um, understands the inner healing principles, has walked through this certification program, right? Like they're they're trusting you to co-partner with them. And the results happen fast um, because we raise your awareness as a student of mind-body protocols like the emotional freedom technique, neuro-emotional technique that are based on the meridian lines that flow through your body. You will be able to engage in neuro-emotional technique and emotional freedom technique with your clients, okay? Um, and this is a type of therapy that focuses on healing the body and its stress-related responses by targeting the physiological foundations of those conditions. OK, we also do work on forgiveness at the subconscious level as well. So why is this training different than any other coach trainings that are out there? Um, this is different because we dig deep into Christian coaching principles. Yes, we're going to take you back to some basics of Christian coaching. Um, some of the students that were in my class, like I said, they had already been coaches and just being able to reach back to some foundational coaching pieces was very, very helpful for them. Um, we look at coaching through the lens of Jesus. Jesus was a coach. He coached through his parables. We not only teach coaching principles, but we get you thinking about your own personal niche. What is your niche? Maybe you already know your niche, but maybe it can be refined some, right? Again, you're learning from a mind, money mindset and brand visibility strategist who teaches and trains other coaches on how to launch their signature coaching services as well. So the expectation is that you either get clients while you're working on this training or you're increasing your rates because of the added skill set to your current skill level. Okay. 
the training is different because we tap into the, to the divine power of listening to the Holy Spirit. Every single one of you are going to be challenged <laughs> to hear from the Holy Spirit. So there is this prophetic aspect to um, what's being brought to this program. Um, you walk away with the expectation to hear from the Holy Spirit. You will grow in your confidence and your ability to hear from the Holy Spirit in session. You learn the art and nuance of shifting from coach to healer. You learn the soul align method along with increasing coaching, increased coaching skills, and you learn how to conduct discovery calls and you get my discovery call sheet, which has a record 70% closing, closing ratio. Because I know it's important for you to walk through that discovery call process. And um, I encourage people to get on the phone. I know there's stuff going around about, oh, sell through the messenger and all this kind of stuff. But uh, get on that phone and don't be afraid. <laughs> okay, curriculum outline. If you have a question again, please put it inside of the chat box. I'm going to answer questions at the end. Um, you have any feedback for what I'm sharing, um, definitely share that inside of the chat box. If there's anything I shared that you're excited about, please share it with me inside of the chat box as well. I will be looking at it as soon as we complete this presentation. So curriculum outline this is you're going to have two eight week terms okay so the way i want you to think about it is eight weeks weekend intensive eight weeks now i have had some people come in excuse me who did their weekend intensive eight weeks eight weeks so i i'm a person i go with the flow if you feel called to this and this is something that you want to join jump in with us our next um weekend intensive will be the end of september so it's pretty good timing because you have August, September, that's the first eight weeks. Then we'll have that intensive and then we have the next eight weeks, right? So the first term we focus on redeeming energy psychology tools and Christian coaching principles. Then there's the weekend intensive where you actually learn the seven step method. And then we do the second term where we focus on listening prayer from the Holy Spirit and, and fine tuning and understanding the science behind energy psychology tools that comprise the soul aligned method. So there are four books that you will purchase that will that go along with this curriculum that is actually the foundational pieces of us like getting it. We want to have those inner healing principles to understand what we're doing and you, you're able to stand on it confidently. So expectations, you get pre-recorded class videos. Um, as this is at the beginning of the week, but however, they're already recorded. Um, there is not a live weekly Q&A class. Um, essentially what you'll do is you would post whatever questions you have inside of the Facebook group, and then I go live around those um, anywhere from three to five business days later to answer your questions. Um, you have weekly quizzes or written assignments. Those are posted under each module. I should say under each unit inside of the Facebook group, you'll see those little prompts and things like that. End of term paper. There are two of them. You're going to do a paper at the end of term one and a paper at the end of ter term two. You have out of class partner practice time where you will find your partner inside of our institute, inside of our Facebook group. Actually, we do meet and greets every quarter so that you're able to meet with some of the other students, take some of that edge off around reaching out and saying, hey, let's practice. And the time commitment for this, if you want to walk through this in the 16 weeks and stay on track, you will need three to four hours a week in order to walk through this and stay on track. Now, I have some people, they come in, they learn the intensive, they get the intensive is recorded also. But I also like to teach it live, which is that live component of the program. So they will come in, they will get the um, intensive training, and then they could jump straight into practicing. So this is that part where you have 30 hours of practice, practice time. Okay, so I want you to know what the expectations are. And then there are, there's two supervision hours. One of those is free. The other one, you do have to pay for your additional supervision hours. So these are the expectations that I have from the students that are coming into the class that you understand 
the assignments, you understand the practice time, you understand the time commitment, you know that these are pre-recorded videos, you wanna be watching those and asking questions. Yes, ask your questions inside of the Facebook group and I'm more than happy to answer those. And we also have inside of our digital resources, we have a folder that is like Q and A's where other people have asked questions. So you get to watch me answer those questions as well. So, right, did I skip? Oh no, I think I skipped. Let's see where we were. <laughs> Certification expectations. Oh no, I got um out of out of order. Ha, there we go. I'm back on track. <laughs> So what does the Soul Align Method teach? And I've kind of been hitting on this, but I want to like really break it down for you. Um, the Soul Align Method teaches a seven step process that utilizes the tools below, okay? It is prayer, the neuroemotional technique, listening prayer, spiritual warfare considerations, emotional freedom technique, eye movement, desensitization reprocessing, and thoughtful therapy. It's actually not on there. However, that sounds like a lot. I promise you when you I take you through that seven step process and it's really um, broken down and you you'll get a full understanding of it. It does sound like a lot um, because but another thing I wanted to share, which is probably on the next slide. Let's see. Yes, it is. These are tools that comprise the soul line method. When you finish this course, you will not be certified as an EFT practitioner or an NET practitioner or a thought field therapy practitioner, or um, whatever beautiful letters we're using, right? You're not certified in these things separately. I'm pulling components from these things to comprise of the Soul Align Method. So you would be certified as a Soul Align Practitioner, um, which is a mindset and energy-based psychology um, coach, right? So, um, just wanted to make that clear. I know some people, you know, I don't want you to walk away from this. You finish this, like, oh yes, I'm certified in EFT. No, you're not. You're certified as a Soul Align um, practitioner, but we utilize aspects of EFT, NET, thought field therapy, okay, and EMDR. So because we go so depth in learning Christian coaching principles and learning about the new age principles and how they go against the word of God, you also receive a recognition as a certified Christian mindset coach. So at the end of the training, if you have met all the requirements, you will receive two certifications. The Christian, the certified Christian mindset coach comes at the completion of the course, given, to, given that you turned in all your work and practice with your partner during, during class or during the, your study time. And the certified soul line practitioner comes after you met the requirements of certified Christian coach. You have done your 30 practice hours and you have purchased your two supervision hours. And like I said, one of those supervision hours actually comes with your training with the certification program. So what is the investment? The investment for this certification program? Let's break it on down y'all. Given all the value and time put into the certification, the value of the training, we have 16 pre-recorded classes at $4,000. Weekend intensive, $5,000. My VIP days alone are $2,500 a piece. And so it's a two-day intensive valued at $5,000. Reviewing practice sessions. So as you do your practice sessions, you know, you're going to video those, the ones that you do in class, and I will be reviewing the video to watch you go through the process. That's $1,500 for those four hours of me, well, two hours for you um, of me reviewing. Then releasing the Soul Align Method for you to use with your own clients, this Soul Align Method for you to brand and make your own, well over 10,000. I mean, this is literally like, I should be concerned this like a licensing fee, but I don't. Um, so the value is over $20,000, okay, for this particular program. Um, however, you will not be paying $20,000. $20, you won't be paying $10,000. You won't be paying $5,500, okay? Your investment will be $1,575. And I'm also offering a payment plan of 550 times three. 
So you can do a three month plan and there's a little another sneaky button where you can have a six month plan as well. That's all my sign up page, but I don't talk about that one, but just wanted to let you know. So let's look at the course outline. Eight weeks on redemption and coaching skills, two day intensive where you learn the seven step soul align method, eight weeks on science of modality and listening prayer. And you can get signed up for the certification today because all the trainings are waiting on you to get started. Our next intensive will be held in September of this year. We literally only have two more intensive this, this year. There's September and November. Those are the only two intensives. And as of 2023, the rate on this will be going up. The investment will be going up. So Q and A's are always available inside the Facebook group or by email. And I will get always asked to give me 72, um, 48 to 72 hours to reply to you through email. And I try my best to answer all your questions and make sure that you fully understand um, this, like how to work through the course, right? I have videos available to you to help you understand how to work through, I would say the units um, of the Facebook group. Everything is inside of the Facebook group. So if you have any questions, the floor is open. Also, if you want to get started, there is the link to get signed up. I will add it to the chat box. I will also add it on Facebook. So I am going to stop sharing my screen. Let's see. Stop sharing my screen. How do I stop? Stop sharing my screen. And I am opening up for questions. Let me look in the chat box. I do see a few. Um, okay, okay, okay. We've got um, <laughs> some amens, that CC that I asked for. Yes, amen, amen. I've always appreciated your take on new age. One can trust your Holy Spirit led information and strategies. Thank you so much. Oh, Darren, thank you so much. I appreciate you saying that. Um, does anyone have a question? I'm going to find that link for those of you that like already know in your spirit. You're like, look here, I want to hop in. I want to be a part of this training. I want to go through this certification program and popping it in there. There are some bonus trainings that come with this that I did not talk about. Let me pull up. Oh, I guess I can share my screen with you because the only way I remember the bonuses, I'm actually just going to go to the page real quick. Um, so this is the link of the page that I sent you. Um, the enroll now is where it is. Did I add it on here? Darn it, I did not add the bonuses on there. So I'm gonna have to talk from memory. Let me stop sharing. The bonuses are Mindset to Manifest God's Way Masterclass. There is the, oh, Delight and Desire Masterclass that's on there because I know oftentimes we're like, oh my gosh, are my desires aligned with God and blah, blah, blah. So we teach on that. <laughs> and then there's also, um, Another training that is love versus fear. It's about Holy Spirit driven success, right? Us focusing on investing in love over fear. So those are some of the, oh, and the top five fears of mind body work. Those are some bonus master classes that are just a part of the um, Soul Align Institute that you get access to when you're going through the um, 16 week program. So again, I can open it up. If you have a question, feel free to unmute yourself or raise your hand and I can unmute you. I will wait like 30 seconds in case you all are thinking. We do have some people watching on Facebook. Um, Sophia says, yep, I was caught up in a group of women that talked about God, but it was new age. Let me tell y'all something. When, every, when people say God, they're not always talking about the God of the Bible. I have to be very, very clear about that. And um, yes, thank you, Sophia, for sharing that in the Facebook group, for sure, because we just never, sometimes you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Um, Sophia says, I'm excited about using MindBody tools with my clients. Um, I want to learn how I can do this online. 
Yes, our protocol is one that you can do online. Not all mind-body tools that are taught are transferable to online. Um, but yes, we can definitely um, do this. Janelle says, I wanna finish my training. <laughs> I hear you, girl. She says, how many more hours will I need to complete? And she says she loves the shirt I'm wearing. You're so sweet. Thank you. It's actually a full on dress, y'all. This is a dress. I'm trying to be cute today. <laughs> but Janelle, as far as the hours that you need to finish your training, you already have the, the Christian um, Mindset Coach certification because I believe you finished out your paper. You finished out your um, the two papers and all the questions in the week. Um, but your hours, you do need 30 hours of practice time and those do not have to be recorded. They just need to be like case notes. Um, if you don't know what case notes are, that is where you actually notate the process, right? There's a seven step protocol. You literally notate each one of those steps. And y'all know what we talk about in the program that I don't expect you to go through all seven steps in one session. You know, you, you don't, um, have to go through that. So... <laughs> Jay, now you're so funny, <laughs> but talk with me, send me your case notes and we'll go through and see if you're, how close you are to your 30 hours. And as soon as you get your 30 hours, you will get your, um, your, um, um, we'll talk about that. Jane L you're inside of the soul line Institute. So, um, we'll talk about how I will do another video for you on how to do your case notes. Okay. So don't worry about that. And the link to my dress, y'all, this is a Walmart dress. Let me just go ahead and tell on myself. <laughs> no link needed. Just hop on over to Walmart and you might still. Um, where are we? And if anybody has any questions, like I said, I'm more than happy to answer. You can um, feel free to unmute yourself. Those of you who are on the Zoom with me, um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you to do that you may have. Let's see, let me get this link inside the Facebook group and then we will um, hop on off. Thank you, um, Darren, for being with me today. That's so funny how I cannot find the live stream in the Facebook. Facebook's so mean. They just won't let me find nothing. But um, thank you, Darren, for being with me. Thank you. Um, who else is with us today? Carmen, Gladys. And I know we had um, one or two more people that were with us, but my presentation might have been a little too long. <laughs> Uh, let's see, new comments. So yes, that is the link that you can, um, I got the link inside the Facebook group and I think I answered all or responded to at least all of the comments. And those of you who are with me, oh, Gladys, your hand is up. <laughs> yes, I, I'm sorry, my Hi. video is kind of not working today. Um, I'm not at home, I'm at the beach with my family. Uh, I have a question. You mentioned something about um, September, something starting in September. Yes, yes. Um, the program is pre-recorded. You could go through the classes on your own. I even have one of the intensives that are recorded, but however, you are required to go through a live intensive with me. Um, that way, if you have questions, I really, Think it's important for you to go through a live intensive so our next live intensive is in september however that doesn't stop anyone from joining us or being able to start today if you wanted to because the two terms are already pre-recorded um so i hope does that answer your question about yeah september? what is can you elaborate a little bit more about the live call or life intention that you call? What is yes. it? Like an interview with you? <laughs> oh yes, I can definitely um, expand, expand on that some. The live and the two day intensive is where I actually teach you the seven step protocol. So there's a manual, you all will get a manual, you get some um, 
resources that we use during the um, during the intensive, I mail those out to you. And what we're doing is I am personally walking you through the seven step protocol. So you understand each one of those steps. So those steps are, I don't really talk about what the steps are until you come behind the closed okay. doors okay. of the program. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I will literally walk you through what an inner healing slash mindset or energy psychology session can look like, um, or not can look like what it does look like um, for this, those who are certified from the Soul Align Institute. Again, that is recorded, but it is required that you go through it live. So we're going through the manual together. We're walking through all the steps. I'm explaining like how you rate your how you rate your clients when they're when they're shifting and moving, understanding the scale of um, how they would rate themselves. We're also going through um, all the different type of emotions there are, what they mean, um, how what what are the different type of scenarios that you would see those emotions pop up. Um, going deeper into prayer like what type of prayer, we're, how are we covering our sessions in prayer? So you'll see me go through that whole thing in day one. And then in day two, I actually pick someone from the class. And when I do the live intensive, intensive, it really is on the spot. Like I've never, like you're in the class. I don't know your, your situation. I don't know your issue. We open up in prayer and we just jump right in so that you actually get yeah. a demo of the seven step I demo that for you. Um, let's say all of us here, there's three of us here. Let's say we're the three in the room, right? I would pray over who God wants to use on that day and say, it's Carmen. Let's say it's you, or I'm sorry, Carmen with the beautiful red glasses. Um, let's say she's the one that God places on my heart. I would let her know, make sure she's okay with that. And then um, she'd just be on the spot that day. <laughs> for me to walk her through the seven step um, process. And you guys would be in the room to watch that live, which I think is so powerful for you to be able to see that process. So that is the live intensive. It is a group intensive where all of the students who haven't been able to do a live intensive, they come. Any of the past students who want a refresher, they come to the intensive. So thank you for asking that question. That okay, helps me to like you. make sure I go deeper on that. Thank you. Was thank that you. clear? Um, yes. And um, when is this going to take uh, effect? When is this happening? Okay. So the again, the sixteen week course it is pre recorded. So okay. the sixteen week course is a part of the process. Remember, there's the eight weeks, the intensive, the eight weeks, and we kind of sometimes do it out of order. I have some people that have slipped in right when we're doing an intensive and then they go do their 16 weeks. So this will take place September. Let me give you the actual dates for the live intensive. They're gonna be September 24th and September 25th is going to be. And that 23rd, I may have like a, um, another meet and greet just where students come together kind of talk and all that kind of stuff and maybe ask any questions prior to the actual intensive on the 24th and 25th and so and i usually do that um from 10 a.m to 2 p.m eastern but i'm extending it from 10 a.m to 3 p.m eastern and so you have some time more time to ask questions because i find that sometimes we go over um, with the questions that are being asked in in between. Thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. your answer. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Yes, you're welcome. Um, Gladys, what are your thoughts? Are you thinking this is something that you want to take part in or what are, what are you thinking about it, the certification? Well, right now I'm in another program, uh, but he, yes, uh, definitely I have to go a little bit more into prayer because I don't want to overwhelm myself. Um, I lost my mother a few weeks ago, so I'm in this process, but it's, yeah, it's, it's something that will definitely, maybe not at this 
precise time but yes in the future absolutely yeah mm -hmm. yes. yeah definitely Thank understand you. timing is everything and you want to yeah. be in the program and the timing that's right for you i do let yeah. people know that um in order like to be successful with this program you do have to be in a place of having the time to dedicate to it because what i mm -hmm. don't want is for people to sign up for it and then it just sits on the shelf and you never use it right because that's, that's something right. that happens a lot and when people sign up for courses and things of that sort um that they just they don't do it and that's not going to benefit me and it's not going to benefit you no, <laughs> so no. definitely i would agree that making sure that the timing is right mm -hmm. that this is something that you feel called to led to you and you know that it's going to be beneficial to not only you because the tools you can use with your family as well that's what i love about this when i initially went into these mind body tools and stuff my son was dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare stuff and i knew that i wanted to go deeper and all of that but being able to use it for your clients come on now <laughs> that like absolutely your when absolutely. you are led yes when you are led to take people through this healing process this coaching process you know that then it's like okay i can't sit i can't sit on it i have to move because i'm already in you already have that platform that was something mm -hmm. too like god's giving you platforms you're already speaking you're already touching lives so it's like man let me get on this now so if that's the type of energy and spirit that you have um then i would say that it's now is the time right <laughs> to go ahead and Absolutely. get started because it's recorded and that was the beauty of it when i did this I was recording just so people could have access that weren't there. And then all of a sudden it was like, wait, this is good stuff. Let's keep recording so that anyone can hop in at any time. So yeah, um, thank you so much Gladys for um, asking those questions. I think it brought more clarity into the room because yeah. it was stuff that I didn't explain. So I really do appreciate you um, asking your question and sharing with us. And I'll be praying for you because I know you shared something with us that was very personal. So everyone that's in the room or watching this live, please add Gladys to your prayer list as she's thank walking you. through this, you know, the grieving process for your mom. So, <laughs> thank yes, you, I appreciate it. And You're it's so funny welcome. because I didn't even know I was grieving. And you know, it's yes, it's grieving. <laughs> so mm -hmm. thank you, thank you for showing up. Yes, thank you. You did show up, thank you, I appreciate it. Shalom. I Yes, thank you so much. Um, I still have about maybe five more minutes or so if anybody else has a question. Um, Carmen, Darren, do you guys have a question? Feedback, question or feedback. It doesn't always have to be a question. Well, I absolutely love the whole curriculum and the program. Um, I'm kind of in this um, situation as Gladys. I'm in Bible class now, and I graduate this December. And so, um, so this is something that I will circle back, you know, when you have it again, because I'm very intrigued with the whole thing. Took lots of notes, and um, so I do hear God calling me, you know, to this. But I know mm -hmm. I need to graduate first, you know, and then, um, yes. yeah, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah. Bible class. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Bible, tell Bible college, um, higher grounds, Bible college. So um, mm -hmm. I will be graduating. I graduated last year and I, I had got um, my associates and then I went back to get away. I got my diploma, my associates, and now I'm getting the, my degree in it. And so Hopefully, uh, my goal is to get my doctorate. So I'm just mm -hmm. going and moving and moving. And so, but I know after this December, I need to just take a break for one minute, you know, <laughs> and mm -hmm. then breathe, you know, and then, you know, go back because it is really, it's going to really get serious then. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's serious. <laughs> the studies you're doing right now is serious. I know this certification program is serious when you get yes. in there. Um, and working I've a full-time had... job and then you know and i i have a, a coaching business as well i'm also a health and wellness life coach and so mm -hmm. full-time in school full-time working and then life coaching and then if i add that I, I know my attention wouldn't 
it wouldn't be a hundred percent. And I don't, that's mm -hmm. not showing up like God wants me to show up. I know that. So yes, you don't want to have too many plates spinning. I've had students say to me, Justina, this is master's level stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, really? <laughs> I didn't think yeah. of it that way. So it's good to have the students feedback, you know, for me personally to have that feedback of like where they felt this, you know, this study was and everything. So, yeah. And of course you want to get the most out of it. That's the thing. Like you can come in and you can kind of, you know, slide by and grab a few little nuggets here or there, but you're not going to be as effective if you're not no. immersed in it. So yes, I will say this for everyone that in 23, my rates are going up. I've been told over and over again that $1,575 is too low, <laughs> even by my students. And so my rates will be going up. So even if it's something that you're saying, okay, I know those rates are going up. Let me at least get into the program. And I know I will start it. You give yourself an actual date that you're going to start. Because again, I, if you're not going to actually do it, there's no point in joining, like I said earlier. So yeah, but I'm, I'm excited about what you guys have going on, Bible College. And Gladys, you said you're in another program as well. What program is that? If you're still with well, us. Well, I'm actually, I'm, I'm a health coach. I'm already certified and I'm a functional medicine nutritionist. So I combine mm -hmm. that. I'm in a program where um, I'm learning to take my business to where it's a business. Uh, it's a business uh, coaching program. Uh, is a Bible uh, is Bible based. Sorry, my mm -hmm. accent is very thick. I've been speaking Spanish all morning, so it's like it's okay. my brain needs some time to convert. Uh, yes, that's that's what I'm doing because I've been in real estate for 18 years, but that really call me to do this because of my own testimony. And uh, I did it. I mean, I jumped by faith and I'm doing it. And But now it's the business. I mean, I didn't go to school and to all this thing. And okay, I have all this stuff and now what I do. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but your program cut really my attention because yes, we're dealing with the body, but we are spirit. We are definitely spirits having a human experience. <laughs> And it's a connection. And it really is more than that. It's more than a eating plan. It's more than going to the gym and building muscle. Because my program, I don't, first of all, as a health coach, I don't believe in diets because they don't work. You know, mm -hmm. I'm more of a teacher. I teach you why is it that this is not working with you, you know? And um, so there is more into that. So that's when I saw you and I said, okay, this is a spiritual. This is, mm -hmm. you know, this is a spiritual and we know we are in a war and we need mm -hmm. to go and get trained in that. Because yes, we as Christian, we know all these other things, but we need, to train, to yes. be able to help the people that God is sending us, because that's the way I see it. I mean, you're coming to me because first of all, God is my partner. You know, he, I don't want to do this if he's not involved. I'm just available to get to you. And this body is the machine. And we have to take care of this. So, but we are also a spirit. And that spirit needs to, we need to train to help this client of us how to work that part. Mm -hmm. So it goes perfect with what I do. And because, yes, I do pray for them and everything. But I want it to be more intensive because I'm, I'm a very intensive person. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what my kids say. I say, mom, you are too intense. I said, no, I'm passionate. No, mom, you're intense. So, <laughs> yes, um, yes. Uh, yes. but I, I want to be fully committed. When I do things, 
the same commitment that I ask my clients, that's what I want to go in and do it. Um, I have a Spanish saying that said, don't preach morality naked, you know? So if I'm asked my clients to be committed, I want to be committed. It's like you mentioned, I don't want to buy another program. I just leave it there. You know, I want to use it. I want to, you know, no. Mm -hmm. Because what's the benefit? It's like we have the Bible just to showcase. No, I want my Bible there so I can read it and then apply what is there. So, mm -mm. Yes. Thank you for the time. I think I said too much. <laughs> No, no. I think everybody's over here like shaking their head like, yes, yes, yes. Because one thing I hear you keep bringing to the table is like we are mind, body and soul. Right. And yes. our spirits are. Yes, they're alive in Christ because we've given our hearts, our souls. We're acknowledging we've confessed with our mouths, but we still have a soul. And in mm -hmm. that soul is where we have the feelings and emotions and we have our own will sometimes, right? Where we mm -hmm. want to do what we want to do. <laughs> and this is really about bringing the, all of that into alignment with the father, you know, when we can get our emotions, get those intact, right? And the thing about it is, you know, we can read our Bible, we read it, we read it, but we still deal with the feelings and the emotions. Correct. And it's one of those things where um, there's something called nuthetic counseling and I'll put it in the um the chat box n-o-t-h-e-t-i-c counseling and I want y'all to look that up okay it's something that I did not realize that I was kind of coming like that was coming against me in this whole process of um just my whole journey I didn't know I didn't have a word to give it um but nuthetic counseling is where people believe that the bible is it that's all you need for anything any issue any problem whatever you're going through it go to the bible the bible verse that's all it's, that's what it's going to take you reading your word and that is how you're going to change and i'm sorry i have to come against i have to say no this is not true <laughs> because god has given god has given us the bible but he's also pointed us to look toward nature, right? He'll tell us, look at the ant and how he works. Look at the bird Absolutely. and how um, they never worry. He points us to look at things in nature. He points us, we can look at creation and science. Why? Because he created it. So I believe it's a Bible and the things that God has created, the things that have been designed and researched and backed up by research. And we have, it's a holistic approach. So that's something that um, we have to be really careful about when we give people that message and we tell them all you need is the Bible, then we are shaming people because there are some people that are in that word and they're praying and there are pastors, okay, that are in their Bible and they're praying and they're still fed up and they're still frustrated and they're still, and they're still sick and they're still broke and they're still, yes, amen to that. Exactly. So when you said we need that training, that was, mm -hmm. that's all I kept hearing every time you said, we need the training. We need the training. If we call ourselves coaches and we call ourselves counselors, you know, biblical counselors, whatever it is, um, you call yourself a mentor, you call yourself, I'm going to say it again, a coach. I think it's the responsible thing to be trauma informed, inner healing principles Absolutely. informed. And I will even go off to say mind, body informed to understand when we say the mind, we're talking even talking about the brain, right? In certain parts of the brain, there is the amygdala, right? The yes. lower, the lower mm -hmm. stem, which, you know, you probably know all these things already. You know, y'all are health yeah. people, body people. Y'all know this stuff. Fight, flight and fear responses yes. that our bodies are dealing with. Right. This is what these mind body tools help with, help to calm those responses so that our prefrontal cortex which is the center for creativity problem solving all that kind of stuff god created that Amen. he created our brains to work this way so why can't we be well versed in that why can't we study those things why can't we have that a part of our coaching process and some people call it neuro coaching right to really understand that um but yeah y'all know i will get on my soapbox 
So <laughs> look, I already got on the soapbox, stepped down off the soapbox team to get down. So I appreciate y'all so much, so much for um, just being in the space with me, being present. Anytime I'm teaching this kind of stuff, it's always great to have people in the room. Um, that way I have some feedback and all of that. So I appreciate you all so much and I will not keep you any longer, but if you want to be on the wait list, that is something you can put your email address inside of the um, chat box and I will copy and paste that and put it on my wait list so that as we get closer to the next um, intensive, I usually start putting out some emails, maybe two weeks ahead, just to stay on the radar, you know, what's coming up. And in case you're wanting to make that investment before it goes up in 2023. Absolutely. So. Thank you for that. That that's something that really, yes, it will make my decision after me consulting with God. Of course. Um, of course. Much easier. I appreciate you more. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Well, thank you, ladies. Um, I'll let you all hop out because I'm going to save the chat. I want to be able to save any. Um, Bye, Carmen. It was so great to meet you and learn more about you. <laughs> it's so, um, thank you. yes, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even know. Um, I was talking about art therapy and someone in the room is doing an art, a therapeutic art course. And I had no clue. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for um, putting that on my heart. It just dropped on my heart. So that's awesome. Yep. Oh, y'all, I was just going through the last bit of um, comments. I'm going to save any emails that were dropped here um, for the wait list. Let's see. Let me get those over here. And then I'm going to, excuse me, check our chat to see if there's anyone else that had a comment or anything. <laughs> Janelle, you're so funny. Yes, girl, go on to Walmart and get the dress. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so yes, we are bringing this to a close. Um, thank you, everyone who was with us for the, the presentation. I will definitely be doing this presentation again for those that didn't get a chance to hop on and ask your questions and be with us live. Um, probably we'll do this again in about two weeks or so. Um, but yeah, all right. I will chat with you all soon. Bye.